Welcome everybody. Uh, it's Max here from Intuitive Fitness Coaching. Hope you're all well. I've got a really nice relaxed stretching session coming up for you. And it's also part of a collaboration with a blog called The Master In You. It's a, an intuitive stretch tutorial. So I'll put the links in the, uh, the end of the video for you and in the description. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks. To easing into less restrictions out there so uh, the isolation lockdown coming to an end hope you've survived well hope you've prospered even um, I've got a lovely stretch session today about 10 12 different postures um, and this one will help calm your system down for the rest of the day hopefully for the rest of the week so make sure you save this one share it with amongst your friends and your family and your loved ones because this is a this will be a really nice one just to if you feel like you need to to chill out and and fully relax okay so we're going to start with downward dog i'm going to show you a couple of variations of forward folds uh, which is stretching the the back of the body so let's just start with the basic start on the back of the mat and we're going to bring your feet just a bit wider than hips, that shoulder width, and we're going to stretch upwards. We're going to inhale, bend the knees, bend forward from the hips, and come down into downward dog, and just go to wherever you are today, wherever, however flexible you feel. Inhale, stretch, mild back bend, bend the knees, bend the hips, come down onto the hands. Let's walk forward. I'm going to keep my heels down. I'm going to go nice and gently today. We're going to hold the posture for about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm going to push back with my hands. I'm going to pull those knees up and just very gently lock out the legs and the nice and straight at the back. If you want to, you can move around, test your flexibility, or you can just hang out here, relax the head down and breathe breathe deeply that's it just check in with the body see what feels good see what feels tight see what needs work this week today enjoy the pose Relax. We're going to do a little bit more pressure pushing backwards. Three, two, one. I'm going to step forwards. I'm going to come up and not hit my light fitting. And I'm just going to stretch up. And relax. Fantastic. Next one, so a variation on that is the, um, they call it the down puppy, puppy pose, which is, we're gonna start off in child's pose, and then we're gonna bring the bum upwards, okay? So we're gonna do wide knee child's pose. Feet can be nice and wide too, and we're just gonna come down gently. And from there, I just want you to come up on the mat, Slide your head along the mat and you're going to arch the back and tip the hips forward, drop the head down, fingers come into the mat, stretch out the arms. If you want to stretch the neck you can come forward, if you're happy here on the forehead that's fine. We're stretching and arching the back so you get a nice tilt of the pelvis. Lovely. Feel that all the way down the back of my shoulders around the shoulder blades, scapula muscles. And drop my head down. And relax and breathe. 
So bums up in the air. Hips are above the knees. I'm going to drop forward a little bit more. Bring my hips above my knees and I'm going to arch just for the last 10 seconds. A little bit deeper into the stretch, easing into it this morning. Uh, arching the back nicely, gently. And three, two, one. And up. Just coming into start the cat cow position and we'll do that in a minute. Next pose, we're just going to do carry on with the forward bends and this one nice and simple. Feet outstretched in front, just get comfortable on the old bum bones. And from there, come nice and tall in the spine, okay? We're gonna stretch upwards, inhale, and we're gonna exhale and bend forward. And again, you're just gonna try and get towards the toes. I like to draw the toes backwards. I like to try and take hold of the toes because I get some, a nice stretch on the back, back at the bottom of the feet and the heels, as well as the back of the muscles here on the legs and the lower back. But just go to wherever you can get to. So here we go. Inhale, exhale as you come forward. Slowly, slowly, I'm going to push my elbows down and pull on my toes, drop my head and breathe. And just keep those legs nice and straight. So always a good idea to draw the knees upwards towards your hips. So you might do a little bit of flexion of your quads on top of the legs. Breathe. Enjoy the pose. Checking with the muscles you're stretching. See what feels good. See what feels tight. And breathe. Another 10 seconds, folks. Feels good. Really nice. Love that feeling on the bottom of my feet. Pulling the toes. Really good. If you can't do it in this posture, fixing the, meeting the toes, just kneel down, sit on your heels, and then press your toes into the mat and give your feet a good stretch. Two, one. Then up we go. Lovely. Okay. Next one we're going to move to the front of the body, front of the legs and the hips. So I'm going to start with the nice and easy one first. Done this before. We're going to do the side lying quad stretch. So we're going to relax onto the left side. We're going to bring that left knee up. Just bring the knee forward. Take hold of the foot. I'm going to go over the foot. You can take your ankle if you can't get to the foot. You can take it from the side. I'm going to go like this again, gets a good stretch on the top of the foot this time and then we're just going to pull gently backwards, bringing my foot into my glute and we're going to breathe, I'm trying to get that knee in line or behind the glute and breathe and relax. Quick adjustment, take hold. And relax. Legs wobbling a little bit. Means there's a bit of resistance on these muscles for me. So what I'm going to do is breathe deeper. Three, two, one, gently bring the knee forward and release. So 
got tremors in my, my legs there, obviously from sort of pulling, but it also shows me that there's a little bit of tightness going on here. So the key is not to resist so much, but to breathe, relax, and just go easy on yourself and find a little bit of peace in the pose, okay? So let's try this left side. So right knee coming up, relax your head, deep breath in. Gently pull on the foot, pull it back, knee in line or behind the glute. Try and bring the heel into the glute. Hold, relax, deep breathe. Another 10 seconds, let's really do some nice long stretches today. Three, two, one, knee comes forward, ease off and relax. Fantastic, lovely. Okay, I'm going to carry on with a similar, similar stretch, this time the kneeling lunge stretch where we're going to come round and take hold of the legs. So we're going to swap over again, let's bring the left leg forward, okay? Don't go too deep, you can, you can do if you, if you feel more flexible today, that's absolutely fine, but the idea really of this one is not to go too deep just yet. I want you to come forward, first of all, and let's just stretch out the hip flexor by dropping the knee forward and dropping that hip down, okay? So let's just prepare for the, the stretch that's to follow, which is grabbing the foot from behind, around, okay? And if you feel anything on your knees, any discomfort, use a pillow or use a yoga block, one of those uh, foam blocks. Or just do that stretch that I did before, again, just do it twice, um, ideally twice on each side anyway. So, keep the right hand down, bring the left hand round, take hold of the foot if you can, look forward, and I'm just pulling the heel into my glute. Ooh. Yeah. Definitely feel some tightness there. Definitely need to work on that, but again, I always go easy on myself. It's easy to get frustrated with stretching if you're tight in certain areas. Uh, it's always good, don't compare yourself to other people in terms of how flexible you are. Just go with where you are, just be patient, work through it, do it regularly, and in fact, don't even think about how flexible or inflexible you are. Just do the stretches and enjoy them. And before you know it, you'll be flexible. Okay. And relax. Oh, that was lovely. Let's do the other side. So again, not too far forward because I want to do the hip flexor stretch first. So I'm just going to drop the knee forward and drop that left hip forward. Oh, nice, very nice. And the idea is always slowly, slowly with the body, okay? Slowly, slowly. The idea is not to exhaust the body, it's to relax the body. Move into fast movements when you need it. The rest of the time, treat it well, just like this. Okay, let's keep that left hand down, let's come round with the right, take hold of the foot. Again, I'm going over the top of the foot, just because I want to get a little bit of a deeper stretch for myself. But if you can't reach the foot, you could grab the middle of the foot if you can't get to the toes, grab the ankle, or you could use a strap, wrap it around the foot, and pull forward very gently that way. There we go. 
little bit tight. Then from those first stretches, it's now eased off a little bit, so it's not shaking as much as it was. But basically, that shaking is it's resistance, isn't it? Body, those muscles resisting us. We just want to relax them. Nearly there. Three, two, one. Drop down. Amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, I really felt that one. So I'm going to stand up. It's going to let the blood come back into the, the muscles. Probably feeling a little bit of heat now. And we're going to do Hindu squats. So we're going to bring the toes pointing outwards. Just come back a little bit. You don't need to go too wide. Inhale, we're going to come down. And I'm pushing my elbows into the inside of my leg just to stretch out my thighs. Okay. Sometimes do a little bit of movement. Feels okay today though. Trying to keep the body upright. And what I'm doing in this posture, a couple of things, well, a few things. I'm trying to bring my hips forward while my shoulders go back, whilst pushing into the knees. Okay. And then over time also, working on bringing my feet a little bit further apart. But if you can't do this posture, you could do things like goddess pose, which we'll do later on. Um, and there are various other ones. You can sit down and bring the knees open, feet in front of you upright, which I will show you in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to do another 10 seconds, I'm going to do a little bit longer. And the idea, this one can be, can feel quite painful when you first start to do it. So obviously don't stretch through pain, but go to whichever height or depth you can do and just practice it over time and it will get easier. It will open up. Okay. Up we go. So if you can't do that one, the one I was going to suggest is just a seated posture like that. And you can just push down onto the thighs like so. Okay, that's the alternative if you want to do that. Do that for like 30 seconds. Okay. Next one we're going to do is glute stretch. So we've done a squat. It's always nice to release, release the glutes. So we'll just do the nice simple one, we're just going to come back, relax on the floor of your body, bring that right leg over, and I like to go through and take hold of underneath the knee, okay, and I line this calf up, or shin, with my shoulders, okay, and I'm just going to pull the knee towards the chest and breathe. Stretching all these muscles here. Pull. At the same time, relax around the abdomen. Around the lower abs, you relax them so you can get a little bit closer. Big exhalation. Relax. That's it, you can feel the glute muscles relaxing. Very nice. Let's just keep it there, another five seconds. Oh, fantastic. Stretch out, just bring the blood back into the legs and let's swap over. So left leg coming up above the knee, relax down on the mat, the body, reach through, take hold of the shin, just below the knee, 
exhale, pull. Relax the lower abdominals. Squeeze into the intestines. So it's a good, good stretch for uh, detoxing, wringing out the intestines. Sounds disgusting, but it's very helpful. Keep those deep breaths. Three, two, one, and release. Really nice. Okay, we're going to do two kinds of pigeon. So again, if you can't, if your knees hurt you in these these next two positions, um, just carry on with that one that we've just done. Just do it again. Okay, and you're stretching the same muscles. So we're going to come forward. Bring the left forward, oh sorry, right forward, just still the right and the left. And leg straight out back. And I'm going to stay tall on this one. This is for those of you who can't get much lower, that's okay. I'm just going to stay tall. And we're going to do a kind of extended stretch because we're going to come down to the mat as well. So we're going to do 20 seconds in a tall stretch like this. If you want to take it a little bit further, you can always do a rotation. That's quite a nice stretch. Just be careful. I'm just going to carry on with this one, but if you get into the hip flexor a little bit more. Okay, and then on three, we're going to come down if you can. If you can't stay up in this posture and just carry on stretching, maybe try the rotation. If you can, let's come down into pigeon. Drop the head. 20 seconds, a little bit longer, and relax, breathe. You always stretch the neck if you want to, and look forward. You feel a bit claustrophobic looking down. Again, try and find peace in the pose. Relax. Three, two, one. Slowly, slowly up and let's swap over. So come back. A little downward dog. Swap over, dropping that right hip down, staying nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, really nice. You're getting the glutes here, hopefully. Some people feel it on the hamstrings on the left side, hip flexor, some people feel it in their abs. Again, if you want to do a rotation, you bring the right hand across, left hand behind. Look over, okay. I'm just going to carry on in the high, high pigeon. So in five seconds, then we're going to go down to the full pigeon. So this one feels a little bit tighter on my, in our hamstring today. So little things like that. Just take take note. Three, two, one, on your body. See what's happening. Become more intuitive with the body. Down. Relax. Forward if you want to. In ten seconds.
three, two, one, up we come, a little down with dog. Oh, very nice, up. And just let the blood come back into the body. Little shake out, little shake out. Okay. We're gonna do two kinds of uh, twists or spine rotation next. So we've done quite a lot today actually, uh, which will pull in on things like the intestines, lower organs. So almost like a detox session, it's quite good, just uh, almost as a byproduct. So right leg, right foot next to the left knee, spine nice and tall. Okay, and we're gonna to rotate to the right hand side. So I'm just gonna take hold on the outside of the knee Bring the hand behind to support me. Look over the shoulders, pull that left, that right knee in, and twist. And relax. Let me get a little bit closer. And breathe. front so get to the front before you uncross the legs okay because you're dealing with a spine twist always got to be careful let's swap over so left foot comes over to the right next to the knee just reset the tall spine get yourself sitting up nice and straight yeah ideally having the your sort of bum fully on the mat but sometimes it comes off that's fine so round take hold Left hand comes round to support, pulling in that left knee into the chest. Nice neck stretch, nice glute stretch. Relax the abdomen. Lovely, okay, and we're gonna do a rotation again, but this time lying down. So, this one's really nice one to relax. So, we're gonna bring the right foot, right leg over, we're gonna use the left hand to just pull the hips and the knee over to the left, and we're gonna look this way as I do it over to the right hand side, okay? So, foot down. The idea is to keep the shoulder on the ground, it doesn't always happen every day. Relax the head, inhale, exhale, look over to the right, trying to get that knee on the ground if you can, that right knee, but not happening today. Too many weekend treats. Breathe. Nice ten seconds. off. Lovely. I'm just going to do a little knee hug in between just to reset the spine. I'm going to go left over right leg, right hand on the knee, relax the head down, left arm comes out, inhale, rotate, look over to the left, 
even tighter on this side. Breathe. Ten seconds. baby pull on the feet lovely grab take all the knees and rocking up we're going to do two back bends so we're going to start with cobra so we're coming on to our front i'm going to show you two ways to do the uh, the cobra uh, first one is i guess they call it sphinx with the on the forearms okay so let's just warm up with that one Hands next to the shoulders, feet together, inhale and exhale. And just stay, just stay on the um, forearms and look forward. Okay, so just easing the back into, into the uh, extension. Let's warm it up. So we'll just do about 15 seconds in this one, then we'll do a full cobra. One, slowly down, okay, we'll just reposition the hands, this time inhale, we're going to come up and fully extend the arms, exhale, okay, up, relax the shoulders, Three, two, one, slowly back down, bend the elbows. I'm going to do a quick child's pose. Knees wide, relax. Do a slightly deeper, deeper back bend. Um, if you can't do this one, just do the cobra again. And just come to the side, and one of my favourites, this one. Knees just about, just slightly wider than hips, but not too much. Feet the same, about hip width, maybe a little bit, a little bit shallower. Um, and I'm just going to rotate the right arm over, bring it back to the heel. The left hand arm over and the, the key of this one is the arms are supporting you so drop the head back push the hips forward push the chest forward let your arms take your body weight look behind you beautiful back bend five seconds more and we're gonna then we're gonna drop the hips three two one, drop the hips, bend the hips forward and go straight into child's pose to relax. Well done, just a few more. So we're going to do um, goddess pose, so the one that I mentioned earlier. And it's just because we've done some intense poses there, some intense stretches. Now we want to relax the body and all those things that we've just done, we just want to let settle. So next part of the, uh, the session is more to relax, okay? So nothing, nothing too hectic so 
just bring the feet to probably what about just over a, a foot distance from heels to hips just let the knees just fall apart and we're just gonna relax backwards okay hands over the head and just keep your eyes open just for this one and breathe Ten seconds. And bring the knees together, take hold, and just rock it up. Okay? We're gonna do a child's pose. Again, we're gonna do about twenty seconds just to relax the body. So you can do it with knees together, you can do it with wide, whatever's comfortable for you. It doesn't matter whether your hips come down to the heels, just however is, however is comfortable, okay? And let's stretch forward, relax the head down, 20 seconds, just let the body be and breathe. Postures left, and so either go for like half lotus, like seated, cross legged, and just just sit there, eyes closed, and we'll just do thirty seconds, just relaxing. I'm going to go for a lotus pose. Um, I'll go for the the side that I'm going to cheat and go for the side that's easiest for me. So I'm going to bring left leg up right leg on top okay like i say just do cross-legged if you if you can't quite do this yet it takes a bit of time the flexibility of the feet okay and just 30 seconds i'll count and i'll let you know when we're finished 30 seconds then one more posture let's bring the palms up on the knees close your eyes spine nice and tall and just breathe 30 seconds Okay, and relax. And I'm going to do Savasana, lying down, corpse pose, lying down pose. For I'm going to do 30 seconds, and then I'll uh, I'll stop the the video. But if you, I would recommend you stay in Savasana for at least two to five minutes. Okay, so 30 seconds, nice and quiet, closing your eyes, lie back, let your body completely relax, just let it flop open. No tension whatsoever, 30 seconds and breathe. Carry on if you need to. Fantastic. Sets me up for the day. 
do that as many times during the week as you like. Hope you enjoyed that. Namaste. Have a great day. Thanks everybody. Take care.